All right, so since I, I can't leave well enough alone, you know, perfectly good iOS V spool, um, ground down that edge about almost exactly the uh, thickness of the spool flange. I this is an experiment. What can go wrong? Worst, <laughs> my theory is worst case scenario, just turn the mags up another click, couple clicks. My hope is that there will now be less of this inductor cup inside of the magnetic field. So hey, who knows? I like screwing around. Now for the fun part. Putting this back together. And just so you guys know, don't ever take this apart unless uh, you're, there's something inside the spool binding this. There, there is almost no idea, no, no reason to ever take this apart. But while we're in here, and you can see how this works, these two pieces are are forced to fit together, and under a heavy centrifugal force, I'm assuming it's this has this wants to stay put when the spool starts spinning since they're separate so when this starts turning it pushes this out into the magnet deeper into the magnetic field as the spool slows down the spring is going to push this back away from the magnetic field i think that's how it works because it's kind of sketchy because you look on the dial website and it kind of says the exact opposite. It looks like it was almost like a bad Japanese to English translation on the Daiwa homepage. But that's my take on it. But what do I know? So I'm going to save you the uh, enjoyment of me putting this back together. This is going to be a pain. I can already tell. I, once, I, once I took it apart, I'm like, ah, why did I bother? But, all right. Hooray science.